In this video, I'm going to be going over the top 10 tech related remote jobs, and I'm going to have a good mix of entry level jobs and mid level jobs as well. So the entry level jobs will be good for people who don't have any work experience and in many cases also don't have a college degree. And the mid level jobs will be good for people who have some work experience, but they want to get into a better job. And the first one on the list is going to be one of my favorites, which is tech sales. So tech sales is sort of an umbrella term that encompasses a lot of different careers, but the entry level job here is going to be business development representative or sales development representative. And basically what you're doing in tech sales is you're probably going to be working for a business that sells to other businesses, also known as a B2B business. And in tech sales, you're likely going to be selling software solutions. Now, this type of sales tends to be a lot less pushy and scammy than other types of sales like used car salesmen, for instance. And the reason for that is because you are forming relationships with these people and these companies over a long period of time. And you're basically just trying to understand what their business needs and how you can help them. Now, technology sales in general makes incredibly good money, about $141,000 a year. And even the entry level roles like BDR make over $70,000 a year. And you don't need a college degree or previous experience to get started. So this is a really good one. It's one of the easiest ways to break into the tech industry. I would consider this to be more of a business career. But yeah, absolutely love tech sales. It's definitely not for everyone. I'd say sales in general is probably not for everyone. But I also think that everyone should do a sales job at some point in their life. Just chances are most people aren't going to do it forever. But sales really makes you get out of your comfort zone. And I think it's a great self development job. So yeah, a lot to like here, I'm going to give this one a 10 out of 10 opportunity score. So yeah, this is sort of a business slash tech related job, but you could kind of put it under either category. But I thought I would include it on this list. Now the next one is definitely a technology related job. And this is the easiest tech job in my opinion to break into the tech industry. And that's going to be IT help desk. Now IT stands for information technology. And basically what you're doing is you're going to be answering questions from customers as well as your fellow coworkers. And these questions are going to typically be technology related. And you make around $57,000 a year. Plus there's lots of opportunity for growth. You can make much more than that down the line. And this is an entry level role. You do not need a college degree. You do not need previous experience. And believe it or not, you don't even need certifications. Now I know a lot of people are going to disagree with me on that, but I've actually interviewed several people on my channel that were able to get these types of jobs in something like seven days and 10 days. And they didn't have college degrees or previous technology related experience. And they definitely didn't have any certifications. And they were all able to do it through a company called Course Careers. Now my friend Josh Matikor, I actually interviewed him on the channel before. He is actually the instructor for Course Careers when it comes to their IT help desk cohort based course. And he did make a free training, which I'll put down in the description as well as the pinned comment below that explains all you want to know about IT help desk. And Course Careers also has a cohort based teaching experience that costs $500. I'll put a coupon down below, which is Shane 50. You can use that if you'd like $50 off, but I'm going to give IT help desk a 10 out of 10 opportunity score. It's another one of my favorites. The next one on the list is going to be a product designer and product designers are the people who help design products, of course, but there's a lot that goes into that. For instance, user research, visualization, testing, analyzing, and communicating with other people on your team and product designers make over $90,000 a year. So this is definitely not an entry level job, you're going to have to get some experience with this one. Once in a while, if you have a great portfolio, you might be able to get an entry level position, but typically it's not entry level and you're going to have to get some experience before you apply to this job. So I still think this one is pretty good. I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. The next one is going to be a site reliability engineer, and they basically ensure the reliability and performance of computer systems by managing operational tasks, implementing automation and optimizing system performance. Now, depending on the company you work in, this is very similar to a DevOps engineer, if you're familiar with that career, and you make about $135,000 a year. Now, this is not typically going to be an entry level job. Usually you're going to have to get some experience in either IT or software development before applying to this position. But overall, I still think this is a really good one. I'll give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is going to be a back end developer. So the front end is basically what you see when you look at a piece of software or a website and the back end is what you don't see. And typically back end development is going to be more complicated than front end development. And back end developers make about $106,000 a year. So this is another really good one. Very difficult to get a job at the entry level. Everyone has their own opinion about whether you should get a college degree, whether you 
should go to a boot camp, whether you should do self learning. And honestly, all of those do work. It really just depends on you and what you prefer. But one thing is for sure, you definitely have to know your stuff in order to get a job these days. Now the job market for software developers currently is down a little bit. Uh, there were a lot of layoffs and they're not hiring as aggressively as they used to. But this is still a very good career. Backend development is a bit tougher to learn, but if you know your stuff, it's easier to get a job. So overall, I'm gonna give this one a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is going to be a product manager. And as a product manager, you're basically responsible for a product that a company is launching. So let's say Apple comes out with a new product like the Apple House or something. You would be responsible for every aspect of that product, from the marketing, to the engineering, to the sales, to the design, etc. And you're going to be overseeing all of these different teams. So this is one of those careers where it's kind of like entrepreneurship with training wheels because you're wearing a lot of different hats and that's exactly what a business owner has to do. So I do really like this one. Um, it's definitely not entry level. You have to get some experience before you go into this. And it's also pretty intense. It's probably not gonna be for everyone, but you do get to make about $183,000 a year, which is pretty nice. So I'll give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a cloud engineer and anything that is cloud related is extremely hot right now. So this is one where when I consult with people um, and we kind of go over their situation and everything and they say they want to get into software development, a lot of the time I do tell them to go for these types of positions. And basically this is going to be software engineering, except it's going to be designed for the cloud. And the cloud is basically where you store data outside of your computer. And cloud engineers make about $141,000 a year. So they're very well compensated. Now this is one of those positions where you could technically get in at the entry level, but typically people are going to get some experience somewhere else before before they go into this. But overall, I really like this one. I'll give it a 10 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a data engineer. And yes, I know it's a data engineer, but I just, I can't bring myself to say it. But basically as a data engineer, you're responsible for designing, constructing, and maintaining the systems and infrastructure that enable storage, processing, and analysis of large volumes of data. Now, anything data related is still really hot right now. Typically people who go into these positions do have a college degree in something like statistics, mathematics, or computer science, but it's not impossible to get into these positions without a college degree. However, this is not an entry level position. You'd have to start off at a lower position such as data analyst, but data engineers make about $115,000 a year. So this is a really good one. I'll give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a full stack developer. And this is basically somebody who knows the front end and the back end when it comes to software development. And full stack developers make about $97,000 a year. So this is typically not going to be an entry level job. You're gonna start off at one or the other, but eventually you can work your way into becoming a full stack developer where you basically know everything. So another really good one, I'll give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. And now we're gonna talk about machine learning engineers. These are big brain folks. So this is basically a combination of data science slash statistics and also software engineering. These are the giga brains that are coding things like AI, right? Like chat GPT, for instance. Now this is, definitely not an entry level job. Most people who go into machine learning also do have college degrees, but it's not impossible to get into it without a college degree, but it certainly is not an entry level job unless you're like truly a genius. And they make somewhere between 146 to $190,000 a year. So this is a really good one, but let's be honest, most people can't do this and they probably don't want to do this. And it also takes a long time to get into, but if you're able to do it, it can be fantastic for you. But for the general audience that is watching this video, I'm gonna give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Now, if you haven't checked it out already, I made a video about the seven remote jobs that are almost always hiring that are much easier to get into than most of these jobs. And you can check that out by clicking right here.